Good afternoon. Welcome back. It is Tuesday, July 11th, 2023. We only have a couple of birthdays and a couple of events, so we'll go over those really quickly. We'll skip around on the events just a little bit. <clears throat> on this day in 2010, Austin Dillon wins his first career truck race at Iowa. It has been 13 years since Austin got his maiden win in one of the three national touring series. On this date, 1971, Charge and Charlie Glotzbach at Bristol won the race, but the more significant fact, it was a Bristol race with no caution, so it was a track record slightly over 100 miles an hour. <clears throat> of course, if you remember a couple years ago with the dirt race at Bristol, NASCAR really ran probably the slowest race of all time with an average speed of around 30-some miles an hour. <clears throat> Excuse me, the biggest of the three events that I could really find for today. On this day, 1993, Rusty Wallace wins at New Hampshire Motor Speedway, then New Hampshire International Speedway. Jeff Burton and Joe Nemechek make their Cup Series debuts in this race. But the more significant thing, of course, is Davey Allison would make his final career Cup start. <clears throat> he would tragically be taken just a couple of days later in a helicopter crash at Talladega. So I think it's kind of strange that you have two future... Well, Burton was, you know, a championship contender, and Nemechek did have some good runs. But kind of funny that you have two drivers making their first start on the same day that another one unknowingly makes their last. <clears throat> so with our birthdays today, we only have two of them. So it's going to go by pretty quickly today. Uh, born on this date in 1956. Um, kind of a superstar at the time in drag racing. He's always a contender. I know he ran a drag racing school for a bit. I'm not sure what he's doing now. It didn't look like he had passed based on uh, what T Trading Card Database had showed. But Mr. Frank Holly, And I think this was... Uh, if you look in the... Uh, I want to say it was one of the NASCAR publications <clears throat> that they had Ricky Rudd and... Uh, Rusty Wallace's car, because their cars were owned by Raymond Beadle and uh, Kenny Bernstein. They had both of their cup cars on a drag strip talking about the drag racing car owners. Well, I know that Rick Wilson and a couple other drivers a couple years later would go to Frank Holly's driving school to... Michael Waltrip was one of them that did the Frank Holly driving school to learn about drag racing and how to... Um, you know, the ins and outs, and I think Michael did get slightly above 200 miles an hour that day. <clears throat> Our other driver is a fixture in the Xfinity Series. He's a former driver, now a car owner, born on this date in 1960, Mr. Bobby Dodder. <clears throat> of course, it's going all the way back to 1991, Max. I think I've actually got this card signed by Bobby at the track because one of his crew members took it from him and kind of made fun of him because he had that little mustache there, and, and of course, Bobby's clean-shaven and all now. Matter of fact, he would be the very next year <clears throat> in 92. But this was the 08 car that he ran. Had lots of different sponsorships early on, including Cling Free, uh, Gino's Pizza Rose, Rolls, which would become to Tino's Pizza Rolls, a couple other oddball sponsorships. Team R, I'm not sure who the name the R is, but it was just kind of a, a, a one of those, <clears throat> you'd almost call it like a, I don't know what team you could compare it to now, maybe like a Jeremy Clements or a, you know, Our Motorsports that has a different sponsor every week. And that's kind of the way they were for a while. Then DeWalt came on board, gave them solid, solid financial sponsorship. <clears throat> there was one time, it was either 94 or 95, for a DeWalt um, public events, part of the, you know, autograph tours and things that the drivers would do. They took his bush car out to the Long Beach Grand Prix just to set up in the DeWalt tent, and he said he had, you know, more people come up to him, and they wanted a bush race out on the West Coast, and I think it was finally 1996 or 97, maybe, at California when they made their bush series, and now Xfinity made their first start out there. <clears throat> so Bobby Dodder had DeWalt for a few years, in his own car, there you see the 08. Then in 95, he had Hyde Tools come on board. DeWalt went over to, uh, where did DeWalt go? I don't know if this is when they, they didn't go to Kenseth now, but they did, there was some switch in there. And, and there you see the Hyde Tools look. <clears throat> but there's a good look at the 08 car that he always ran. 
Again, you have a nice look at the DeWalt Lumina. And there's a good look. And there's, uh, is that, uh, yeah, it's Jeff Burton's Baby Ruth car there in the background. And then our final one has the Hide Tools card on, car on it. So there's a good look at the Hide Tools card of Mr. Bobby Dodder. One with a little less... Well, we're not getting a good zoom on it today. But nonetheless, happy birthday to those two. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you come back tomorrow. Not sure what we're going to do tomorrow just yet. Maybe we'll tear into um, some of the cards that we picked up at the flea market. Maybe we'll... Who knows what we'll do. We'll, we'll, we'll get there when we get there. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow.